It's 19 degrees outside, Jonesboro, Arkansas. And I'm going 24 miles or so to work. Well, this is 23, but I actually think it's 19. Hang on. What's the temperature? Okay, according to the weather app on my iPhone, it says 17 degrees. I'm gonna go with it. Right there is how cold the battery is. Gets down to blue, we wouldn't want that. But we're gonna see, we get to the right screen. I'm gonna reset this. I did pre-start the car. We're gonna see what kind of miles per kilowatt hour I get in 17 degree weather. We're starting out at one, just a quarter of a mile down the road because it takes a lot of energy to heat the car up. Once it heats it up, then it takes less to maintain the warmth. But this is a 2020 Nissan Leaf SV, AISV with the winter package, which means it has a heat pump. Not all Nissan Leafs have a heat pump. You have to get the one with the winter package from what I understand. The temperature is on 72, the heated seats is on, and the steering wheel is on. And I'm not gonna drive slow, I'm gonna drive like a normal car, three to four miles over the speed limit. Matter of fact, speed limit is 35, I need to kick it up to 38. Look at this, it says 17. It must have said 23 or whatever because I was under my carport maybe. Perhaps, I don't know. But now it matches what the weather app says. 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. There's about 38 usable kilowatts in this car, more or less. So that'd be 38, 76 plus 14.4. Uh, about 90, 91 miles. 91 miles of range, I think. The car is supposed to have 149. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Man, electric cars in the winter, they just don't perform as good. EV haters, that's one of the things they can just keep saying. You know, electric cars suck. Keep driving in the winter time. <laughs> That is a legitimate complaint if they really want to bash electric cars. That, that's where I would go with it if I was them. I'd say those liberal piece of crap cars, you can't even drive them in the winter. <laughs> oh, now keep in mind, every 2.4 miles today cost about nine cents on electricity. So I drove 24 miles to work, 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour, that's 10 kilowatts. It cost me about 90 cents to get to work today. About 90 cents to get back. Man, that's, uh, it would be half that much if it was summertime. Half that much money. You know, but still $2 to get to work and back. You go 48 miles. Um, that's, that's, that's not bad, even in winter. In the summer, it's really cheap. Welcome to the future, 25, 25 hours in the future. Same trip, same route, same speed, probably, if nobody gets you know, in front of us and slows us down. But the difference is yesterday it was 17 degrees, today it's 34 degrees. So we'll reset this. And we'll see what we get today. Yesterday was 2.2 at 17 degrees. 24 miles down the road, going to work. We were about at this spot yesterday when it said 1.0 miles per kilowatt hour. Now it's 1.3, which is a lot better. I didn't think it would be because like I said before, it takes a lot of energy to heat the cabin up and less to maintain it once it does heat it up. And that heater is blowing really hard. Very little traffic at 7.30 in the morning on this road. But as you can see, I'm going 64, the speed limit is 60. I would guess that probably 60% of the miles to work are at 64 miles an hour. And I would guess that probably 20% are 48 miles an hour. And the other 20% is just stop and go in town. Just a guess, I don't know for sure. Okay, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Yesterday was 2.2. That's the difference between 34 degrees Fahrenheit and 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is about 25, 26% better. 
and that means a range of about 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour on the standard range Nissan SV. That would be 56, 112, about 109 miles. 100 and maybe 107, because I'm not exactly sure what the usable battery is. I'm thinking it's high 37, like 37 and a half or something kilowatt hours. So if you have the second generation Nissan Leaf with the uh, winter rain, with the winter package, which means the heat pump, then 34 degrees versus 17, you should get about 25, maybe 30% more range. Somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. So if you live in a cold environment where it gets down in the teens, then you might need an electric car that gets twice the much, as much range as you need. For instance, I need a car that's gonna go 48 miles. So 96 would be the absolute minimum I would need to take to make sure I can get to working back in winter. So I'm thinking 105 to 110 I would not buy an electric car in Northeast Arkansas if it didn't get at least 105 to 110 miles. And I'm not talking about what the sticker said when it was new. When it was new. I'm talking about real miles, you know, in the summer. A lot of electric cars in the summer, they get far more than what the sticker what the sticker said. Like this is 149 miles is the official rated range. I think in summer, I may get 160 160 even uh, even going 60 miles an hour maybe i think so i have you know i have to wait and see 149 is not going to be a problem i already i already know that this car may get 180 190 possibly 200 in town possibly in the summer that's about all that's enough bloviating